expecting some protests later. It'll be interesting to see whether on the same scale as yesterday, 10,000 people came out to this square to protest about the government and the way that this country is being run. Um, it is important to say that, of course, many people here are trying to rebuild their homes, so they haven't got time to be out here an awful lot. This um, conference that's going on, uh, the teleconference to um, bring together the international donors, will be watched with interest because there is a desperate need for some kind of aid here. It's thought that £11 billion worth of damage was done, and that's not an amount of money that Lebanon has. This is a country that's pretty much bankrupt. So whatever the international community can pledge will be welcomed. It will be needed. But there will also be concern about what will happen, whether or not that money will get to where it needs to go, or whether the endemic corruption that is seen as so much a cause of the parlous position it's in now will see that money just disappear somewhere somewhere else. They need money for big projects, but they also need money for small ones. I was talking to one um, woman on the street this morning and she said, please could you ask the world to send us strong rubbish bags because we haven't even got enough of those to try and put all the glass away. So that gives you an idea of just how big a scale this operation is. Okay, Emma Murphy in Beirut. Thank you very much. The Home Office says 151 people arrived in the UK yesterday after crossing the English Channel on small boats. It brings the total number of those who arrived to more than 530 in just three days. Babies and young children were among them. The government has said a formal request has been made for the Royal Navy to assist with the crisis. Brazil's death toll from coronavirus has now surpassed the grim milestone of 100,000, just five months after the first reported case there. Brazil has the second highest number of COVID deaths behind America, and the numbers are continuing to increase as the most Brazilian cities reopen shops and restaurants with fears the country is yet to hit its peak. Our correspondent John Ray reports. <laughs> the rituals of burial and of mourning that have been performed more than a hundred thousand times in Brazil, a land of grief and of graves, second only to the United States in the grim league table of coronavirus deaths. A milestone of misery that has sparked protests by health workers aimed at President Jair Bolsonaro whose populism has proved no match for the pandemic. He's put his own recovery from the disease down to anti-malarial drugs, despite their effectiveness being widely questioned. President Bolsonaro did everything to get everything worse. Um, he told the population that it was just a flu, little flu. In our ICU, we have... This intensive care doctor sent us a video diary as cases headed towards their peak. Brazil, when we all we had like a thousand, more than a thousand deaths per day.